Okay, good morning and welcome to another video. Um, today I'm going to be installing an electrical box for my Powerline Wi-Fi adapter so I can get Wi-Fi down in my parking garage. Um, a little bit of background, I live in a condo. I'm on the third floor, which is the top floor, and my parking garage is underground. Uh, and I do not get any cell phone or uh, Wi-Fi signal from my apartment uh, down there. So uh, what I found was um, the Wi-Fi, or excuse me, the, the power circuit, uh, the power outlet that I had installed uh, a few months ago, uh, which added a 110 outlet and an EV220 volt outlet um, down by my parking spot, uh, hooks into the power distribution center, which is also down in the parking garage, and the meter, which monitors my electrical usage, is also down there. And what it does is it completes a single circuit between that outlet down there and all of the outlets in my condo. So I was, um, you know, I was, I was unsure if it would work, but if I plug this Wi-Fi module into the outlet down in the garage, it actually communicates with the ethernet bridge that I have plugged into my, uh, into my networking closet over here. And what that does is basically it's like a uh, virtual ethernet cable that rides over the power lines uh, and allows me to bridge this Wi-Fi access point from the garage into my networking closet, which is just my home internet connectivity. So um, I'll put a diagram up in the video. Um, but yeah, it works great. Um, the speeds aren't crazy fast. I get probably 20 megabit on a good day. Um, and it's highly variable depending on, you know, the, the type of wiring you have, the quality of the wiring, like the... Um, the amount of interference you're going to get on the wiring run between the outlets and probably the impedance of some stuff um, involved in, in, the, in the circuit. So, um, yeah, the, the stuff I have here is a ABS plastic box and a lock for it. You can see it just opens up into a box here. It's got some mounting hardware and some grommets. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be using these. Um, I'll probably be using some construction adhesive to try to mount this thing to a concrete column down in the garage. Whether or not that works, we'll find out. Um, but I just want to avoid drilling into the garage, the concrete in the garage, because that is a shared area and I just don't want to deal with uh, even attempting that or trying to get permission or whatever. So. Um, I'm going to try to glue that down there, uh, right underneath the electrical panel. Um, I'll put a photo of that up too, but uh, the idea is I'm going to have this really short extension coming from the outlet that's mounted on the wall to this box. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill a hole. So NOCO makes a bunch of accessories. I think this is a marine accessory for plugging in onshore power to boats or something like that. Um, but it mounts into a two inch hole and it's basically just an extension cord with a, I think it's IP67 rated um, outlet. So the idea is I'll just plug that into here, I'll drill a little hole at the top of the box, plug that into here, and then I'll have power to inside the box and I can lock this right there to prevent, uh, you know, casual tampers. Um, obviously, this is plastic. Anyone can just destroy it if they really wanted to, but um, you know, these things are not that expensive. So if, if somebody gets in and decides to cause some trouble, it's not the end of the world. This is basically just to keep your casual troublemaker out. Um, yeah, so I've got a hole saw here, construction adhesive, I've got my drill, um, and I'm going to just start drilling. Mounting this, I'm going to mount this, and then uh, this will just be connected on the inside to this. And apparently ABS plastic is more or less uh, invisible to Wi-Fi. It just goes right through. So, um, yeah, we'll see how this goes. I've tested this plenty of times. Uh, it works fine down in the garage. 
whether or not it works inside the box with this extra bit of cable and um, this thing is yet to be seen, but we're gonna find that together. Yep, so this thing should fit perfectly right in the middle here. And then it also came with some self tapping screws, so that'll be handy. Uh, hopefully, I don't have to drill for this, but if we do, no problem, no big deal. So, yeah, the idea is this sits on the top of the box, this plugs into this inside the box. I'll have to mount this inside somehow, and then this connects to the power outlet. So, should be, uh, be pretty simple. Um, my only question is whether this and plus this is going to present some kind of impedance or interference challenge for this thing. But there's only one way to find out, which is to do it. So I'm gonna get started drilling. Okay, that was a little more difficult than I had thought it would be, but we got the hole drilled. It's fairly clean, clean enough. So this Klein Tools hole saw and arbor is uh, super stout. I have a Milwaukee integrated pilot arbor hole saw, and this is a lot beefier than that. Um, I haven't used the Milwaukee separate arbor and hole saws before, so I, I can't tell. Uh, I can't tell you if it's better than that, but this is definitely a serious piece of gear. Okay. So let's try to get this thing in. It should allegedly just mount like this, which it does. And then looks like we've got to drill three pilot holes. So I'm gonna mount it like this. Yeah, that's the orientation we want. I'm just gonna mark these holes out. That is pretty, pretty close to perfect. This in here, this will go in the wall. And then this will mount in here, 
which I've still got to figure out. But it'll go like that, and then the antenna will operate like that. So we'll go in here, this will close and lock. This whole thing will go on the wall, and it'll be like this. And then if I want to disable it, I just unplug this, stick it in the box, lock it all up. That's the idea. So the next step is I'm going to have to figure out if this stuff will bond to plastic or if I need to scuff this up. I may have to file these down, these little offset things. But other than that, This file is awesome, by the way. It's, a, it's actually a wood file, but I use it for plastic all the time. Um, it's made by a company called Shinto, made in Japan, highly recommended. I think I just got this on Amazon somewhere, but just search for it. It's pretty awesome. It's got a very, very smooth action. It's very rigid, and uh, it's got this nice diamond pattern, which offers a lot of coverage, so it's very consistent and the resistance doesn't change uh, along the stroke, so it's it's just very consistent. So very happy with it. I'm clean this up. Let's see where we're at. All right, so these corners are pretty scuffed up. I think what I'm gonna try to do is just use these corners, yeah, as mounting points for the glue. So I'm just gonna put a dab of glue on each corner. Hopefully some of the glue will make it into these holes and sort of, you know, given uh, an extra little bit of support. And then the concrete down in the garage is uh, it's not very smooth, it's pretty rough, so that should be a good good surface for it to bond to. Um, yeah, this is good. You can't, yeah, you can't see any of the scuffs from the outside or from the sides, so I think we're good. I'm gonna give this a shot. All right, so I've got this thing epoxied in, or glued in place with construction adhesive. And I'm just waiting for it to set up before I let it cure. Okay, here we have the finished product. So you can see it's sinking. And we have Wi-Fi.